What's up, YouTube? Hey, uh, thank y'all for joining. Watch some motorsports. Uh, like, share, comment. Um, today we're working on the brakes on a 2013 12, 12 um, Road Glide Ultra. Um, changing out the rear brakes. Simple job. Anybody can do it um, with limited knowledge. This ain't nothing. Yeah, it's gonna take rocket science. Science. Okay, so take off both your bags. Left and right, once you get the bags uh, take, taken off, uh, 5 16 Allen head. You got these two bolts down there uh, that, that are on the main axle um, mount. So you're going to take those off. One. Take that one off. That's one. Okay, it's two. Okay, take them off. Then, um, then you're gonna have um, a uh, da, 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 what, what is this? What is this? What is this? Uh, I think it's a five five millimeter Allen, which is gonna be your your retaining set screw. Uh, for which is what holds your brake pads in that's right there so pull pull the retainer out this your little retainer that go that goes right back on that screw so pull that off put it in put it back inside of the the dust cover which I already had the dust cover off but that's elementary you then you're gonna you gotta take this Pull it off. Back that set screw all the way out. Pause me for a minute. Okay, I had to get a uh, had to get a small Phillips head screwdriver, or you could use a punch. Get on the back side right there, and you're gonna want to push push in right there, and loosen, and then that'll pop that screw out. Now you see, you see that little that little ridge, see that little ridge right there. That little ridge is rare that safety retainer goes so you got to put that back on and you got to put that right back around that little that little ridge there that on that on that little shaft once you do that then you're going to you're going to push push out toward the centers then pull see look you got really nothing there just in time you don't want these getting down too far once you start seeing them there that's when it's time to change them especially if you out getting that yonder and you riding you know, you don't want to get caught out there like that. Okay, then you're going to have to drive back uh, both the pistons on both sides. So what you can do, two, two ways of doing this. I got a little, I got a, uh, a tool specifically for this um, in the other garage, which I'm too lazy to go get right now. Or you could just leave, leave both of these in there, just like that, right? And just hold on. Man, you want these snacks, bro? <laughs> um, then you can take like take take a, a large heavy screwdriver, and and you're gonna just try. See see how the one see see how the the caliber plunger 
went back in there. So you push that joker back in there. Then same thing with the other one. See, see, I just pushed that in there. You see, I'm going in, bro. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then um, ah, get one of these out of my way so I can dry that other one. Dry that back. Now you see how they sitting flush? Boom, boom, boom. And then that other one, it's got to be driven back. So you go like this. You don't don't try to pry directly on it. You know, use something to pry, pry it back. So there you go. Now that's how it should look. Now you also want to inspect your inspect your rotor. Make sure your rotor is, is true, meaning it's straight, uh, it's free of defects. Um, it doesn't have any divots, any any um, any major grooves or grooving. And uh, I'm not sure if you pull a f put a filler gauge on it to find out exactly how thick it is and how much rotor you have, which determines the life of the of the rotor. But you know, y'all ain't riding y'all bikes like that no way. So ain't, ain't, <laughs> ain't getting y'all like that. Okay. They ain't got. They ain't even got to worry about uh, li that. lifetime rotor. <laughs> lifetime rotor. <laughs> Same one that Harley got. Same one that I was like. <laughs> I looked at these. I thought these were some more of your snacks. <laughs> I thought these some more of your snacks. had some cookies. Man, you scoopy you know, snacks. You, you know you love some sweets, Scoopy bro. snacks, man. So, all right, they, they give you a uh, they give you a new uh, new retainer. So, you put the new re the new retainer on, on there as well as a new retainer pin uh, that comes in the packet. Hey, for you all that want to know, give them a shot of that. Mm -hmm. Give them a shot of that so they know. What they don't go, go up in the dealership, like you know, tell them they ain't gotta look it up, just tell them what you need. Go get it, yeah. That part number, yeah, yeah. Royal Glad Ultra, yeah. Oh. What is that? This, this is just a little, little lube for the to go in uh, on there. You're gonna lube that up all the way around. So you don't want this, this is like anti-seize. You don't want to season up on you either once it's, uh, once it's in there because you want this to be free for the next time when you go to change your brakes, right? Mm -hmm. So, man, we almost there. We almost there. We're getting ready to get in the wind. Man, I'm, I'm ready to ride, man. Right, right. I'm ready to ride. We've been changing, man. We're doing this oils and oils. That. Man, let's see. So now, now it's about time to ride. Don't you gotta be careful. You don't want you don't want to get grease, oil, no contaminants on on the uh, the fibers, or the, the brake fibers. So you want to be real careful. You'll be real careful with that. Um, so, all right, fellas, put your pads in there. Put your pads in there together. You're gonna take this and you're gonna put them inside of that little sleeve, up in the top, and inside behind both of those, both of those little. Uh, I don't know what you would call them. Those little, um, they're, they're set, uh, they're position setters for, I guess, I don't know what the technical name, you know what they are. But they fit Ma in there yeah, perfect. Yeah, make them fit in there perfect. So once you get them in there, you set that like that. You put that in there like that. You put that in there like that. And you're going to see, the, you look straight through there. Now you see, you can, you can put your, uh, you put your your retainer set screw back in there, just like that. Then you take your five millimeter and you're gonna thread that back in, just just like that. Uh, that seemed like that's about the right torque. <laughs> then you go you gonna put that retainer. See that little see the little sleeve back in there. See it, mm -hmm. right? You are gonna put that. Ah, just like that. Bam. Then you're gonna open this up a little taste. You know, use something to open it up. Take your screwdriver, open it up. Then you're gonna put it, put them back on, just like that. You'll take that. Back in. Like that. Stop taking all day, man. This ain't no all day job. <laughs> this is a little five minute job. This ain't, I don't even know how long we uh, how long we into the video. Uh, 
Nine minutes. Nine, oh, nine minutes, man. We got to hurry up. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, we stuff. had to stop. We had to stop. We had to stop. Okay, so we right. say about six minutes. Six minutes. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right. Bam, 10 minutes, 